But first, I mentioned that the two-time Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld, is dead at the age of 88. I had the honor of interviewing him back in 2013. It is again my honor to welcome back to the show the former Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. You bet. Good to be with you. Mr. Rumsfeld, would you uh, characterize the Obama administration's foreign policy? Uh, I, I think of it as, uh, as having three components. I'm not Bush coming in and saying, uh, let's get, away, get rid of uh, Gitmo. I'm not going to quote torture anymore. I'm going to reach out with an unclenched fist. And if I, with my experience and background and, and having lived in the Middle East, having lived in Indonesia, apply all of that warmth and humanity, I can do things that uh, my predecessor could not do. That's pretty close. Uh, it, it's unfortunate. I, I think the the word that leaps to mind when you ask me that question is it's it's a policy that suggests that America's in decline, that we are withdrawing from the world, that we are weak. We're managing our economy, uh, modeling it after Europe, which is a failed model, mm -hmm. which is sending a signal to the world that we're not going to be a factor in the world. And the vacuum we've, he's created is being filled by people whose values are not the same as our values, whose interests are not our interests. And as a result, uh, we are facing a much more dangerous and less stable world. Um, is it your impression, Mr. Secretary, that when President Obama entered office, he was determined to get us out of Iraq and get us out of Afghanistan, irrespective of the consequences? That certainly was... Uh, the announced policy that 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 was that was the direction he's going and he anytime you set a deadline you just tell the other side all you have to do is wait us out is the country more at risk mr secretary against uh, an attack from uh, a terrorist now than before president obama entered office you know when i heard the president say that that uh, bin laden is dead and and the al qaeda is on the run I thought to myself, you know, Mark Twain wrote in Huckleberry Finn, you can't pray a lie. And it isn't true. It is a dangerous world. It is a, the lethality of weapons is greater than it's ever been. The availability of those weapons is greater. And what we're seeing is, is absolute turmoil throughout the Middle East. Whether you go to Syria or Egypt or uh, the other North African countries or Sudan or Mali, one after another. The other countries in the region that are not yet in turmoil are very concerned, deeply concerned. And, and the fact that the United States is, is supporting the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, as we have, I think, I look at Secretary of State Kerry and think to myself, he was dealt a very bad hand by his predecessor, Secretary Clinton, and by the president. Uh, they made a series of mistakes with respect to Egypt that now the country's facing a very serious problem. That's the most important country in the region. Mr. Secretary, I supported the war in Iraq. I still do. I think even though the stockpiles were not there, the reasons that we went in remain very valid. That said, a lot of critics would argue, Mr. Secretary, that to the extent that you uh, find the Middle East uh, in turmoil, to use your word, uh, it might very well have been uh, partly uh, ignited by our invasion in Iraq. To that line of reasoning, you say what? Well, I mean, it's just factually... You can't draw a line between those dots. There just isn't any evidence that that's the case. Uh, you had people um, setting themselves on fire in Tunisia and in three or four other countries and causing riots in the street. The people today have television, and they can see what's going on in the world, and they see the opportunities that exist for people in the United States and other countries that have freer, freer political systems and freer economic systems. And they want that. And you see riots in the street. And, and, and then the United States goes into Egypt and puts their thumb on the scale, uh, supporting uh, Morsi and, and the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, the people who killed Sadat. Um, and and the, people, the people who threw rocks at Hillary Clinton in Alexandria when she was Secretary of State were not uh, Muslim Brotherhood. They were not thugs. These were people who felt that the United States walked away from them when they supported the Muslim Brotherhood, which, which had got into office, attempted to impose its power over the people. It was harmful to women, 
uh, was was really a, a dictatorial theocracy uh, in 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 waiting, trying to consolidate power to impose their will. My guest is former. United States Secretary of Defense, who served twice in that capacity, the 13th and 21st Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. Mr. Rumsfeld, the other day, President Obama said this about the NSA program. If you look at the reports, even the disclosures that Mr. Snowden's put forward, all the stories that have been written, uh, what you're not reading about is the government actually abusing these programs. And then the Washington Post came out just the other day, I'm sure you know, Mr. Secretary, uh, that said that uh, the Obama administration has been abusing the, uh, the NSA program uh, and uh, on many occasions has not reported the abuse as they are legally required to do so. Uh, when you hear stuff like that, are you at all concerned about the way this president uh, has operated uh, NSA? Well, of course. We all are concerned about privacy, and we're all simultaneously concerned about the fact that there are radical Islamists attemp attempting to engage in terrorist acts against the United States and the West. And so try to find, trying to find that balance is not easy. And it's particularly not easy in an environment where technology keeps advancing. I think the problem the uh, Obama administration has is, uh, you, you know, we lead in our country not by command, but by consent. And 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 we don't gain consent unless we're believable and and the worst thing you can do is to say things that turn out to be not true later because then trust is eroded and i'm afraid what's happened to this administration is they've they've tried to defend themselves by saying things that within a week or a month or a year later turn out to not be the case and what they need to do is to take a deep breath and pause and make absolutely certain what they say is accurate and true and is bedrock and that they're standing on a piece of concrete and not on mush uh, because the erosion of trust in our leaders is a very harmful and dangerous thing in our country. My guest has been former U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. Mr. Secretary, as always, thank you very much. Thank you. If you like what you just heard in this brief highlight. When we come back. Elon.